Hi everyone, myself Bhavana, 4th semester ECE of Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. My presentation of today's topic is Application of Vestigial Sideband Modulation in Television Broadcasting. So let us learn about the application of vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting. The introduction of this particular topic is in vestigial sideband to transmit the television signal is a most efficient and convenient technique especially in scenarios where you need to keep bandwidth usage at the minimum. Not only does it make the transmission of the low frequency components possible but the filter design also doesn't require high accuracy. So it is a major introduction of the vestigial sideband modulation towards the television broadcasting. So, in the vestigial sideband to transmit the television signal is a most efficient and the convenient technique, especially in the scenarios where you need to keep this bandwidth usage at the minimum. Not only does it make the bandwidth of the low frequency components possible, but the filter design also doesn't require high accuracy. So, this is uh, actually the introduction of the vestigial sideband towards the television broadcasting. Now, let us learn the basic operation of the vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting. In the video signal, where very low frequency modulating components exist along with the rest of the signal, these components give rise to the sidebands very close to the carrier frequency, which are difficult to remove by physically relievable filters. The low video frequencies contain the most important information of the picture and any effort to completely suppress the low sideband would result in objectivable phase distortion at these frequencies. So in the video signal, very low frequency modulating components exist along with the rest of the signal. These components give rise to the standard uh, sideband very close to the carrier frequency which are difficult to remove by physically relievable filters. The low video frequencies contain the most important information of the picture and any effort to the completely suppress the low sideband would result in objectivable phase distortion at this particular frequencies. So this is how the basic operation of the vestigial sideband has been implemented towards the television broadcasting. So these are the major applications of the vestigial sideband towards the uh, television broadcasting. Now, let us learn the advantages of vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting. The main benefit of the modulation is decreasing in the bandwidth. So, decreasing in the bandwidth is a major advantage of the vestigial sideband modulation towards the uh, television broadcasting. So, in the main benefit of this modulation is a decreasing in the bandwidth. It is approximately efficient like single sideband eye efficient modulation. Designing of the filter is simply when eye accuracy is not necessary. Because of the transmitting allowances of the lower sideband part, the filter constraints will be relaxed. So these are the major advantages of the vestigial sideband modulation towards the television broadcasting. The main benefit of the modulation is decreasing in the bandwidth. It is approximately efficient like single sideband high efficient modulation. Designing of the filter is simple when the eye accuracy is not necessary because of the transmitting the allowances of the lower sideband part, the filter constants will be relaxed. So these are the major advantages of the vestigial sideband modulation towards the television broadcasting. Now let us learn the disadvantages of the vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting. The disadvantages of the vestigial sideband modulation include the following. Bandwidth is higher when compared with the single sideband. It is a very much important disadvantage and the main disadvantage of vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting. So the bandwidth is higher when compared with the single sideband and the demodulation is very much difficult of vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting. So these are the very much important disadvantages of vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting techniques. That is, the bandwidth is higher when compared with the single sideband and difficult in demodulation. Now, let us learn the application of vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting. So, 
the major applications are in vestigial sideband modulation it is a standard for the television of tv signals this is a type of amplitude modulation that is mainly used for tv broadcast worldwide in the transmission of the vestigial sideband the higher sideband of the video signal and picture carrier are broadcasted without any control so these are the major applications of the vestigial sideband modulations towards the television broadcasting that is it is a standard for the television of tv signal this is the type of amplitude modulation that is mainly used for the tv broadcast worldwide for the tv broadcast worldwide the in the transmission of the vestigial sideband the higher sideband of the video signal and the picture carrier are broadcasted without any control these are the main application of vestigial sideband modulation in television broadcasting now let us learn the overall the summary part that is something about the introduction the basic operation the advantages the disadvantages and the application which we have learnt in the vestigial sideband modulation towards the television broadcasting it is because vestigial sideband modulation has a slightly lesser bandwidth as compared to the dsb modulation and it's easy to create the vestigial sideband modulated signal it contains the video as well as an audio signal in it keeping in mind that no overlapping takes place audio signals are generally of the 100 kilohertz bandwidth and video signal are 5 millihertz bandwidth so it is a because of the vestigial sideband modulation as the slightly lesser bandwidth as compared to the dsb modulation and it's easy to create the vestigial sideband modulated signal it contains the video as well as an audio signal in it keeping in mind that no overlapping takes place audio signals are generally of the 100 kilohertz bandwidth and video signals are 5 millihertz bandwidth so these are the major the applications or the advantages the disadvantages the basic operations towards the vestigial sideband modulation in the television broadcasting vestigial sideband modulation plays a very much important role in the television broadcasting so it is actually the main part of vestigial sideband modulation towards the television broadcasting so this is about the major applications which we have learned today regarding the vestigial sideband modulations towards the television broadcasting so thank you all this is my presentation of today's vestigial sideband modulation towards the um, television broadcasting thank you all